I only ever really draw on Bristol board paper. When I first started drawing, I tested out quite a few different paper types, but to be honest, all of them were white. I've never tried drawing on a different colored paper. At least not with color pencils, I do with pastel pencils. So I thought it'd be interesting today to try toned paper for the first time. I've bought the Strathmore toned tan paper. So I've heard rumors that it is especially good for beginners. Because you're kind of starting off with a mid-tone color, you're able to add in the lighter colors and the darker colors and it's easier to get the contrast and therefore it's easier to make good drawings. So I want to try this out for myself, see if I prefer it to my usual Bristol board. Now I do want to draw a full drawing, but first things first, I want to test it out and kind of see how the pencil works on the paper. First impressions, I would say that this paper does feel very thin. I'll be interested to see if I'm able to layer color pencils as much as I usually do on this thinner paper. So on the most part, I literally just wanted to see how the pencil feels on the paper. But I did also want to see how the lightest colors stand out, especially in comparison to those darkest colors. So I started off by just putting a very quick and rough gradient with the ivory pencil, which is my lightest yellow. It's a very light cream. And it did go down quite nicely. It was nice and smooth. It was quite a different feeling to the Bristol board, which is a smoother paper but i wouldn't describe it as rough necessarily and i was pleased to see that the ivory does really stand out i then put down a dark sepia color which is like a very dark gray and that kind of did what i would imagine it would and then i tried a few other colors kind of seeing how colors blend into each other seeing if i can put a lighter color over a dark color and see what happens when i do that just generally trying to get a bit of an idea on how the pencil is going to behave. At the very end here, I wanted to see if the pencil smudges on this paper. It's not generally something I have a problem with. I don't find that it smudges at all on the Bristol board, but it is a good thing to know. And it does actually smudge quite easily. So I'm gonna have to be very careful while I'm drawing that I'm not dragging my hand along the paper, which I don't think I do, but... Now I would say that the pencil on the tan paper looks a little bit gritty. I think I'm just going to have to build up more layers so that I can end up with something that looks smooth. So I'm going to have to bear that in mind while I'm drawing. Now to test this out, I want to draw something that is a little bit challenging. And generally when people think of something that's challenging to draw, they think of drawing a portrait. So I'm going to draw this lady. Let's test out if this is easier. Whenever I start drawing a portrait, I always start with the eyes. And actually, it was nice to start here by putting in the white areas. Not only putting in the white areas, but being able to very clearly see where I'm putting this. So it's generally my plan to put in the very lightest colors and then move to more like the darker colors and then fill in the mid-tones once I've got in those kind of extremes which is very different to my normal way of working. Generally, I start from the lightest and work my way towards the darkest. And it is easier to see that you're putting things in the right place, I would say. You kind of get the idea of what it's gonna look like much earlier on in the process. It meant that I more went through adding in the most obvious color that I felt was missing rather than working through any kind of system. And I'd say very quickly I ended up with something that did look like a set of eyes. I went through drawing the skin in a very similar way, so started off by marking in the very lightest areas very lightly with the white pencil, and then began building up the colors on top of this. And although it was pretty easy selecting the colors, and quite nice being able to put in the lighter colors, darker colors working from that mid-tone, I did find it quite hard on this paper to end up with pencil that looked smooth. I found that I had to do a lot more layers and I still ended up with paper showing through. Whatever I did, it looked a bit grainy. But I thought maybe if I drew her hair, I could come back to her skin and see at the end if there's anything I could do to smooth it out. Drawing her hair, I would say, was very tricky, actually. Because her hair was so dark, I pretty much went about this in the same way that I would always. But the pencil wasn't really doing what I expected it to. I didn't do any tests of how the pencil performs if you're trying to add little fine details. So, for example, hair texture. And it was very hard to get some small little hair flicks. Everything I did looked very chunky. I also found that my pencil got blunt very quickly. 
So once I'd drawn her hair, I went back to see if I could smooth out her face. And actually pressing quite firmly with some pencils, really building up a lot more color did help quite a bit. It's not perfectly smooth, but I think it works. So do I like the tone paper? Kind of yes and no. I do really like that you can start off putting the light colours down and actually see where they are. Whereas if you're drawing on white paper, it's all a bit more vague. You can't really tell where it is, at least not until you've put the darker colours in. But I do kind of think it's harder to control the pencil on this paper. I did find it pretty tricky to build up the hair texture. It was certainly much harder than it would have been on my normal Bristol board. But I don't know how much it actually notices in the finished drawing. So let me know, do you use tone paper and what do you think of it? Sometimes I think I'm just set in my ways. I'm probably not gonna switch my paper. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.